The following podcast is intended for mature audiences. Listener discretion is advised. for downloading, streaming, or however it is that you are listening to the Not Listening Podcast. I am Adam. I am Ash. I am Will. Uh, hello, Will. Hello. How are you today? Awesome. Are you ready for the podcast? Yes, thanks. Well, um, Ash, you, you ready? <laughs> yeah, I just love how you went up higher pitched <laughs> at the end of the word podcast. Because really? that's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> Get on no, with it. it. Get on with it. Why don't you tweet us at Barker Podcast or at Not Listening Pod or just go to the website www.notlistening.co.uk and check all the goodness out there. Right. Audio time. Too bloody right. Hashtag Not Listening. Hello. My name is Michael Kane and I have a little quiz for you bastards. <laughs> so, with my film buddies, I have been collating a selection of wisdom from a variety of Hollywood and other films. And my challenge for you, Ash and Adam, is to tell me which film these quotes of pearly wisdom come from. Now, we're going to start with Ash, because he knows fuck all about films. Whereas Barker is very knowledgeable. So, my first quote for you gentlemen, as soon as I get my screen back, is You are not a beautiful or unique snowflake. You're the same decaying organic matter as everything else. Who said... That in what film? <laughs> You're a decaying snowflake. That you are not a beautiful or unique snowflake. You are the same decaying organic matter as everyone, everything else. <laughs> Man, I've got no idea. I'll have to say something like Jack Frost because it's the only thing I can think of as a snowman. Oh, okay. Can you say it whilst talking into the microphone? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> How about you, Barker? Do you have the answer to this one? I ain't, got a, I ain't got a clue because the way you're talking is just really ruining everything for me. I think it makes things perfect. <laughs> now that quote is attributed to one Tyler Durden in Fight Club. <laughs> now, that proves you are both losers. <laughs> <laughs> now my next quote for you, Ash, is there are three rules that I live by. Never get less than 12 hours sleep. Never play cards with a guy who has the same first name as a city. And never get involved with a woman with a tattoo of a dagger on her body. Who said that? What was the first one? There are three... The, the first, first one of the three. Ro- <laughs> Do you think the first rule is going to make the slightest bit of difference? I forgot what it was. Never get less than 12 hours sleep. Oh. Do you think I would put a clear reference to the film in the quote? Do you no. think I'm a fucking idiot? No, I just forgot. I, by the time you finished the third one, I forgot what the first one was. Well, baby, you should pay some attention. <laughs> Um, and I just can't stop thinking about Fight Club with the rules. <laughs> I'll give you a you clue. Should, oh. It is not Fight Club <laughs> or Jack Frost. <laughs> um, no pressure, Ash, but get the fuck on with it. Thank you. No. Adam, have you got any idea? I don't think I... Um, rounders. I didn't know that was a film. I thought that was the original <laughs> women's version of baseball. <laughs> no, it was Matt Damon. And, um, no, that John was quoted by Coach Flintstock in Teen Wolf. Fuck off. Yeah. That, nobody's seen Teen Wolf since 1989. And, and your problem with that is, I am a veteran of the acting industry. I and I have seen all sorts of films. I was in my prime at that point in time. And I saw that film, and I saw Michael Fox. Although he couldn't, he couldn't call himself Michael Fox because there was another Michael Fox. <laughs> but I saw Michael J. Fox doing a wonderful job in that before he went all wibbly. Anyway, Wib- number three. Wibbly. We all end up oh dead. It's just a question of how and why. Who said that, Ash? This Matt, is really I hard. Recognize that. This is, I, I don't recognise that one. These are, these are these are difficult. He's it's made not it like hard. I think we're going to need a bigger boat. 
No, it is not Jaws, it is not Fight Club, it is not Teen Wolf, and it is not Jack Frost. (laughs) (laughs) Fucking idiot. (laughs) I've forgotten the quote again. (laughs) We all end up dead, it's just a question of how and why. Give us a clue. It was said by an Australian. I'm going to say Lethal Weapon. Correct actor, wrong film. What do you oh. think, Barker? Uh, Mel Gibson in Mad Max. Oh, excellent. No, no, that was shit. <laughs> it was Mel Gibson in Braveheart. And the final question. William Wallace. No, the penultimate question. And if Ash can't get this, then I will actually take him outside and give him a damn good slapping. Hang on, is it Jack Frost, Fight Club or Jaws? <laughs> <laughs> no, it is not one of those. Man who catch fly with chopstick accomplish anything. Ha ha ha. That is the Karate Kid. And who said that place? Mr. Miyagi. Correct. One point to Ash and Barker. You are now losing. <laughs> That's embarrassing. <laughs> no, actually, wasn't it the Kung Fu Kid with Jackie Chan? Don't no. make me <laughs> fucking <laughs> care. <laughs> For the final question, and Adam's chance to redeem himself, but Ash gets to answer first anyway, because <laughs> this is rigged. <laughs> <laughs> a man who doesn't spend time with his family can never be a real man. Man who doesn't spend time with his family can never be a real man. That is what I just fucking just said. Just thinking, meet the fuckers. <laughs> was a size. Tangerine. Robert De Niro's character, meet the fuckers. Uh, that is not the case. No. Have you got an idea there, Barker? I ain't got a fucking clue. Well, it's interesting that you got the mafia vibe there, but it was Don Corleone in The Godfather. And so this would be probably the first ever movie quiz where Ash wins. Congratulations. Whee! Now go and both lock yourselves in a cupboard and hang your heads with shame. But I won. If you like what you're hearing in this podcast, why don't you visit www.notlisting.co.uk. It's where the podcasts are held, as well as the not watching podcast and the not playing podcast. Well, Ash, do you listen or read anything that's on the website? No. No? Ash? I listen, but I can't read. So? I find you barely literate at best. I couldn't possibly bring myself to read the trash that you knock together on that thing. Okay, so... Please go to the website. Please enjoy. Anarchy news now. And Banksy has to step aside. We have a new graffiti artist. Oh, cool. In the country. Um, he is civically minded, shall we say. He seems to have a thing about potholes. Um, so what he's doing to get his local authority, and I think this is up Manchester way, what he's doing to get his local authority to fill them quickly is he's drawing enormous penises in and around them and signing them. <laughs> Wanksy, which that's, is that's possibly an my favourite thing ever. I think that was an Ipswich. It was it Ipswich? I'm, I'm pretty certain it's up north. Well, unless he's getting that around is north a bit. Unless he's getting around a bit. And it's only north of us. <laughs> itself <laughs> an awful lot of other places. It's only north if you're facing north and you're going towards Ipswich. Then it's north. <laughs> north of here. <yeah. laughs> I think. I think it was. But either way. So yeah. he's, he's he's. But the it. idea is basically he, he's not doing it in. Um, any sort of particularly permanent way, it will um, it he's will wash chalk. away. <laughs> well, that's well, yeah. Basically, basically, he's using just one step up from chalk. Um, See, but, but he's effectively. Uh, I don't know. If that's a step up. I, I don't know, know. know why that would be a step up from chalk. Sorry, kids. I can't write the blackboard today. I got no chalk, but I have got the next thing. <laughs> See. Oh. <laughs> That's why I don't work at a school anymore. <laughs> not me, not me. I was, I was telling someone else's story. Oh, right, I'm telling okay. someone else's story. When I say not me, I'm, you know, someone else has told that story. He right. has his own website, www.wanksy.net. <laughs> <laughs> What's on it? Come on. I don't know if this is the same one, actually. Uh, this might be a different Wanksy. Who knows? Uh, probably copycats by now. Well, the, the on www.wanksy.net, the front photo is just graffiti of a sign that says, your mum is a fat cock sucker. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't think that's the that's same one. probably not the same person. Then. <laughs> <laughs> is it around a pothole? So, <laughs> who, who can possibly and say? And is it the name of the local councillor? <laughs> What are we talking about? Yeah, but, right, <laughs> to, re- to read the article from the Telegraph, right, okay. and it is Manchester. Um, <laughs> I love the article's got a wonderful name. It says, "Meet the man using penises to fill potholes." Well, literally, <laughs> yeah. He actually uh, sticks his penis yeah. in a pothole. 
No. A Manchester man oh. known as Wanksy is using, using penis graffiti to force councils to fill in potholes. And Wanks. it seems to be working. Can we stop for a second? Can we, can we d- dissect this, this uh, article bit by bit? Yeah. So first he says... A blow-by-blow blow yeah. analysis. So <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so let, let's understand. So repeat what, you just, what the first line says. I've got to scroll back up to it now. Sorry, Will, oh. but, but you know, this, is a, this is a podcast mm. for the people. We a, want to Man- get. a Manchester man known as Wanksy is using penis graffiti to force councils to fill in potholes. Right. How is he known as Wanksy? Because he signs He's them Wanksy. Is that his name down the pub? No, it's how he signs them. Right, who knows him by Wanksy? I don't know. Who knows Banksy by Banksy? Banksy knows Banksy because he tells everybody my name's Banksy. No, he doesn't. He just signs it Banksy, but nobody knows who he is. Right, so he signs it Wanksy, so he's known as Wanksy. That's correct, yeah. yes. Gotcha. I'm with he's you. probably masked. It's a pseudonym, well. so to speak. And he sticks his penis It's like nobody knows who holes. the human shrub is. Oh, don't talk about that again. <laughs> it's a bush. <laughs> but there's a uh, Facebook fan page and everything, um, which is kind of cool. But um, big penises. Oh, over the like I say, if you if you look at the uh, the Facebook fan page, it's it's quite good. It's just examples of huge potholes in the road, um, and he's drawn massive penises around them and signed them. Wanksy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is superb. It that works. Just just that makes me work. happy. I mean, it's got to be uh, uh, potholes annoy me. They fuck your suspension and do terrible things to your tyres and uh, particularly as a cyclist. One of my fucking alloys. As a cyclist, it's even worse, basically. Um, you end up singing soprano if you're not careful. Or <laughs> <laughs> um, going over the handlebars. Uh, I mean, what else are we going to do with potholes, though? You've got to fill the fuckers up, haven't you? Yeah. What would you do, Zumo? Um Well, I suppose you could dig them a bit deeper and fill them with water and put a little island in the middle with some of the ones in Chelmsford and maybe just call it a, um, a nature reserve. Put some mini ducks <laughs> in it. <laughs> nice yeah, little tourist little attraction in yeah. the middle of the street. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> a small fence around it as well. Village pond. Yeah, it'll definitely mm. attract ducks. Definitely. Yeah. I say dig them deeper. Yeah. Get some Chilean miners. Stick them down there. Keep them there for about, what, 14 days? You've got a humanitarian story on your, uh, there you go. your hands there. We can give some Chileans millions. Ooh. Some of their stories. Oh, <laughs> <Ooh, laughs> that <laughs> fucking disgrace look on your face. I think we should move on to the next subject now. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking about lining up a whole load of blind people and getting them to walk down the street, and when they trip over, they can sue the council. So that actually sounds quite clever. Exactly. They'll fill them in soon. They'll, they'll, have little, they'll, they'll have little people with spades quickly filling in, filling them up with sand. Why, little, why little people? Well, they they dwarves. <laughs> well, you've got yeah. blind people, you've got dwarves. You're, you're being an equal opportunities employer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're going to prove their, ca- their point. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the bit well, shortly, a short while ago, where I said I think we should move on to the next thing? <laughs> we should have done. Hey, if you're on Twitter, why don't you follow me at Barker Podcast or Not Listening Pod? You can't follow these two motherfuckers because they don't tweet. Do ya, Will? There you go. That's them not tweeting. At Barker Podcast or at Not Listening Pod. Fuckers, you're supposed to say something in that bit. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> Nobody's